Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on determining regular polygons that would fit together with other regular polygons. Let's read this question. The diagram shows A, the shape here, a regular decagon. Decagon means 10 sided, so this is 10 sides. Uh, an equilateral triangle, B, so that's an equilateral triangle, and part of another regular polygon, C. And we want to find the number sides of this first polygon. So we want to find the number sides of C. We know how this has 10 sides. That's an equilateral triangle. That has three sides. But we don't know this other shape, which would kind of continue on. We don't know how many sides that has. Now, we saw in a previous video that if we knew the interior angle of this regular polygon here, that's one interior angle. It's between this side of this polygon and this side of this polygon C. Then we can work out the number of sides it has. We also saw in a previous video that actually if we have three polygons meeting at points. So we've got this 10-sided polygon, the three-sided polygon, and we've got this n-sided polygon. We don't know how many sides it has, but it's a regular polygon. We know that these three angles add to 360 degrees. So we can just put those two skills together and we can solve this problem. Now let's work out the interior angle here of the decagon first. And you remember that each interior angle of an n-sided regular polygon, the formula was 180 subtract 360 divided by the number of sides. So we can just use that formula again. I'm not going to explain again how that works. But for A, the interior angle is 180 minus 360 divided by the number of sides, which is 10. So that's going to be 180 minus 36, which is 144 degrees. So let's just put down the diagram. That interior angle here is 144 degrees. Now, an equilateral triangle, we could use the same formula, but you should know that the interior angle of an equilateral triangle is just 60 degrees. And then we can just do 360 minus that 60 minus 144 to find the remaining angle here around this point here. So we just do 360 minus 144 minus 60. I'm going to do that on a calculator. And that gives you 156 degrees. So that remaining angle around this point here is 156 degrees. So that's the interior angle of C. So if the interior angle of C is equal to 156 degrees, then remember the interior and exterior angle of any polygon add up to 180. So we just do 180 minus that to give you 24 degrees. The reason why that works is if you look at this polygon, if you extend out the side, if that's 156 degrees, the interior angle, then the exterior angle, you can see they add up to 180. So that's 24 degrees. And also remember that the total exterior angle of any polygon is always 360 degrees. So we just got to see how many times 24 goes into 360. So the number of sides, let's call it N, is 360 divided by 24. I think that's 15, but let's just double check. Yes, it's 15. So it's therefore a 15-sided shape, and that's the final answer.